Hello, this is Bob from BBD. Hello to everybody in the house. Okay, it's obviously today morning, like I was saying, there was this whole bunch of uh, bull coming, uh, not bull, but uh, preaching coming from Pradhan Sevak. Uh, again, telling us, Sankalp liya hua hai. You know, it's really funny. We all, some time or the other, have used pundits, and all things about Sankalp is put money in Sankalp is put money. What is Sankalp? At the end of the day, there's obviously a huge media effort, especially by 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 Bisht, the chief minister of uh, UP, to change things. And the numbers falling so drastically in a state that has absolutely no infrastructure, health infrastructure, abysmal, absolutely abysmal. To see his numbers fall by half in just less than two days defies any scientific logic, any scientific possibility. Okay, so. I leave it up to you folks. It's it's the situation getting better. Now what I'm listening to hearing about the dead bodies being found everywhere and people people in stress and everybody, you know, actually everybody who dies now is now being declared because of some asthma or some problems like COVID. It's not good, but you can't run away from the truth, right? Here, like I said, situation better, but a lot of steps only on paper says UP villages. Obviously, some villages have been caught to say our situation is better, but they did point out that situation on the ground is really not that good, right? And then you know things are really bad. He says, won't speak against government and risks, risk sedition. BJP, LA, MLA on health infra. So they're their own people saying this. So what is Bish saying? And what are all these joint secretaries and everybody else? Gloop oh, well, anyway, like I had a friend of mine say, gray is all shades of gray. Maybe death is a shade of gray. Who knows, man? To each his own. But the High Court says, hey, no way, man, there is no gray. We are aghast. HC raps Bihar over deferring death figures. And you know things are not good in, this, in, in the rural areas because the Pradhan Seva PS is focusing on that. Center asks states to take steps to curb COVID spread in rural areas. And how does the state do that, folks? I have no idea. No wherewithal, no assets, no money, no doctors, no nurses, no nothing. But... You got to do it, you got to do it. Rapid test, key in centers, rural SOP. I think the standard operating procedure is going to backfire because rapid tests have 50% efficacy. So you're going to get all false negatives in this, right? And you are really going to be up the creek without a paddle. Yogi will run all over the place. Oh, I've done it, I've done it. But that will be anything from the truth. And, and Pradhan Zevak talks to... PM speaks to Rajasthan, Chhattisgarh, UP, Puducherry, CM. So that's pretty bad. That's pretty unique. That's nice. Good news. Not a single day in last week when a villager hasn't died of COVID in Nu. So this is Haryana. Whether declared or not, who knows and who cares, right? But Qatar doesn't Qatar. Qatar is out there trying to cut tapes and some 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 uh, somebody else has set up that has set up that. Uh, 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 medical center, not the government, and then he's going to cut a tape, show his face, but he got beaten by the farmers and hell, hell, the hell. As COVID spreads to villages, government says beef up health infra. As if, tali baja ke, health infra. Oh, tali baja. Wo nas, nurse hai, wo doctor hai, wo nurse hai, wo doctor. How do you beef up? I asked these joint secretaries who are making this banal statement, the Pradhan Sevak who's making this request money. Is this nonsense or what? Uh, not that I blame this government. This, the previous governments are equally to blame for the shambolic health infrastructure in India. Right? As COVID bodies pile up, cities race to build new crematoriums. So there goes Gaushala and crematoriums. That's what it is, folks. At the end of the day, that's all that matters, right? PM cares. PM cares. Help triple number of ventilators. Wow, PM cares. BM cares. It's not his fund, folks. Why does he have to say I've spent it on third three time ventilator? God damn, everything should be spent on vaccination and ventilators and everything that is needed. Not three triple. You know what that triple number of ventilators is hardly a spend. Maybe a couple of crores, that's it. Watch this, right? O2 beds in villages, push to testing center draws up three tier response plan. <laughs> in villages, three tier response plan. No infrastructure, no people on the ground. It will get you a symbolic situation. And they're saying they're going to set up a new health ministry. So all their good is making plans and evolving plans, like I told you. And then they're even better at response plans. Plans and plans everywhere, right? But you know things are things are not 
really hunky dory when you have news item like this, right? After questioning government, virologist quits panel of scientific advice. He was the only real epidemiologist in this panel. All the other guys said, ISCMR is just fluff with no knowledge, and Dr. Paul, who really is a wax and wane cock a doodle doo, has, I mean, what do I say, right? And then, like I said, in, in, uh, <laughs> A say may consider lockdown if COVID cases continue to rise. And the Sarna Bharo, the same guy told you both. A say may, abhi, chahiye, nahi chahiye, to nahi chahiye, na, kyunki beauty parlor bhi to chalna hai, hai na? There he is, nail him guys. And look at the guys who are coming out of the bill now, right? So we saw someone, Pradhan, oh, he's finally showed up. Oh, 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 oh. Rich fellow, sits on top of all the richest PSUs, but now he shows up. Oil and steel companies helping combat COVID, says Pradhan. Minister inaugurates 500 bed COVID-19 hospital. See, this Panipat hospital apparently, folks, has been, has been set up, with a, I think, in that area by a friend of mine. It's got nothing to do with the government. I am told. Okay. In fact, we've been giving kudoses to my friend and his family. And this guy says, I am, oh, oh what, 500? Well, well that's what I say, right? Bull, by any name, is bull. Right. You can keep covering it with, 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 with all kinds of uh, 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 statements, but bull and bullshit is continues to stink and it stinks really, really bad, folks. Cheers. Okay. The other guys coming out of their bill are at DRDO's 2G DG launch. Rajnath reviewed, reviews effort of armed forces and both Health Minister Harshwardhan, who needs to actually resign because he's been the biggest effort. And Rajnath, who has never been present, but now suddenly to live in the limelight. We are there. Okay. And like I said, continues this bullshit. Be beat first wave, halted second, ready to face third, says you. <laughs> this has got to be the biggest joke yet. But anyway, maybe he's right. Who knows? But the dead don't tell, but don't tell lies, as I say. There's no gray areas there. In show, there is no disposal of bodies in rivers. All right. <laughs> So if you don't dispose them in rivers, where the hell do you dispose them, Yogi? I have no idea. But anyway, just unfortunately in Priyagrad, more shallow graves found on Ganges banks. Hmm? That's not going away. Look at what's happening here. Uttarakhand hospital height, 65 COVID deaths, faces pro, right? Rightly said, HC is not guard nailed, Mr. Yogi. Facilities in UP, small towns, villages are Ram Barose. So if they're Ram Barose, how can the the pra Pradhan Sevak expect them to suddenly get ramped up and how can this the, the CM continue to claim and the numbers the way they are dropping unscientifically impossible then you look at this teachers body says 1.6 thousand staff dead seek 1 crore relief each this is for the panchayat board. this should be somebody should be tried for murder in this case willful criminality and I think election commission could be one of them right? but here is a great science and I'm, I, I can tell you this. I just went to, I was on the, out on the streets for one cow in distress on the main street in Kofla. Doesn't know where to go to left, doesn't know where to go to right. Stuck in the middle. That's your cow, uh, gau, uh, what do you call that? Gauma. And then you have Pragya Thako. I consume cow urine extract daily. Not hit by COVID, BJP MP says. BJP MP. There are a lot of people not being hit by COVID. I can somebody should tell him not all of them are drinking urine, right? But like I said, this was a bigger shock. Virologist Shaheed Jamil quits government's genome map mapping room. Without genome mapping, as everybody said, we are not even going to get to the bottom of this, folks. Vaccination facts as narratives, as Komi Kapoor writes. Unfortunately, Paul failed to do his elementary sums. SII was producing about 60 to 70 million doses month, uh, a month and Bharat Biotech at best 15% of this number. Once the vaccine was open to all above 60 in March, a reality check set in. Our biggest assets, two indigenous vaccine producers were unable to meet demands because they had been provided no incentive to expand facilities by the government, which has also not thought of offering co-vaccine. Right, okay. Paul, who likes to look at the bright side, now promises 2 billion vaccines by the year end. The vaccine famine in the intergym is glossed over. I don't even think it's going to come by the year end, right, folks? Many were indignant over the export of vaccines early this year to exotic places like Bermuda, Bhutan, Ministry of... So while Ministry of External Affairs gushed over vaccine diplomacy, to my knowledge, which is the truth, these limited supplies are part of the fully paid for commitment of advanced bookings by the international community and nothing to do with the government of India. That's right. 
So that's where I think Rahul Gandhi and the opposition need to pull back. Government of India, which gratuitously sought to take appropriate credit, since late March, all such vaccine exports start cancelled, and that is a big hammer on their face. Right? Well, these were any way to be exported. Now they've got themselves into corner because they took credit and punished publicized it everywhere now everybody wants to hear how sad is that right now here's what's happening vaccination drive moves at a slow pace in popular states as per ministry data vaccination numbers remain low in bihar upmp and jargon go expanding eligibility makes second dose of covaxin a mirage for 45 plus and that's what i'm told in reality you're not going to you're not seeing anything right <clears throat> then you have waters Chandra Kant Laharia right, right? He says India's vaccine policy needs an urgent reset. For six weeks now, India's vaccination drive has been struggling. How long must one wait before acknowledging that what has was planned is not working? It is often said that Indian policymakers have mastered the art of drafting policies, which while being perfect on paper, are poorly implemented on the ground. Rightly so, here they seem to be poorly even drafted. Okay. Now what do you have here? SII Bharat Bios could skip state tender. So they are skipping state tender. They don't have anything, right? He says SII Bharat Bio may skip state tenders. Firms already supply vaccines to states across India. Say officials in the know. So global tenders, zilcho, right? Then you have this. What does he write? This is Kanti Bajpa. Embrace warp speed. India should recall a key learning from the smallpox. He says, how can we speed things up? The biggest constraint is India's ability to produce enough vaccines. At this point, the only way is to buy vaccines abroad and to expand vaccine capacity at warp speed. Four years is too long for India to fully vaccinate. In those years, mutations will multiply. It is time to treat vaccination as no other public policy challenge India has ever faced. Absolutely right. And we, I don't think these guys get it yet. Then, to beat variants, go big on co-vaccine. We should have done that earlier. Pumped money, pumped money, pumped money, folks. That's where the government is what? It is niggardly in its approach to providing money to the private sector. And now it is beset with all these problems. Thanks to them. Okay, folks, a little bit about the economy. Economy gets a mess all over the place. It's in a mess, right? However, like I said, this, this uh, local investors lead market rally as infections fall. Any excuse for, the, uh, for, for people to put in money, it's, this is out of control. It's on steroids like or most of the patients are right because what well, here you have right everybody else in the world is saying growth worries weigh on india's sovereign rating structural reforms in front development may improve outlook but there are problems right and then you know what's happening petrol diesel prices soar after nine hike in 13 days so they've lost control of that right because of that wholesale inflation rises to 11 year high so every, all of us are suffering right Payment defaults rise 50% in May for NBFC, so that's a huge problem, that's a huge problem. WPI hits 11 year high of 10.49 in April as metals fuel price zoom, so there goes your infrastructure. Okay. 35 million workers tapped Provident Fund accounts since April 2020, that means stress, right? But this is where, you know, you really got to, take, you really, really got to worry about this government. Cain tracks. 70 billion foreign assets. I mean, how many people have told this government to give up on these things because they've lost the cases, right? India to defend assets in cane tax disputes all over the world. Well, we're not going to be able to do it, right? But these are the right statements. The time to settle it. In cane energy case, larger perception of a government unwilling to bury Vodafone goes is a cause for concern and for FDI, which you're going to need a lot, right? Specter of 2012. Retrospect, retrospective tax amendments needs to be buried for India's long-term benefits. It surely does. Then it says, honor Kane Award, remove uncertainty because this thing, this fight by the bureaucrats is just taking the cake away. And Air India may suffer, right? Kane's Air India lawsuit may not delay sell-off plan, but the sell-off plan's already been delayed. And then what's what's going to happen if the, if the planes are locked up? You tell me, folks, is this government really, really thinking? I don't think so. But the only good thing here is how rice and wheat exports hit record high. The farmers to our, our uh, rescue again, folks. And those are the guys that are being beaten up with these farm laws. And after Casey Singh also spoke about against the farm laws, I'm kind of convinced there's something actually wrong with them. Because everybody else I could have understood. But when Casey says that, I've got, I've got to worry, right? Okay, folks, that's all for today. Jay Hill.